And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Rekindler Garen. It's time I give this deck a chance. So uh, this is the, like basically all Demacia except for splashing for Rekindler at the top end. It's been a pretty popular deck. Um, as y'all know, I, I'm a big fan of just the Demacia mid-range deck that I've, that I've built and that I play that's just all Demacia 100%. Um, I haven't really felt the need to, to play Rekindler. Like, uh, instead I have, you know, like an extra Swiftwing Lancer and a couple of the, um, the Radiant Guardians, um, but you know, like this is a pretty popular deck too. And so I figured it's, it's about time to give it a try. So just playing, um, you know, the list, a list from online, we're going with Lucian and Senna and, you know, Radiant Strikes and stuff like that. Um, you know, so not going Fiora route. So, uh, we'll see how it, we'll see how it plays. So here's some Rekindler Garen. So we're gonna go on over to ranked and uh, let's see rekindler garen and we'll see we'll see how we do had a great day so far the brom deck was the best brom deck we've ever played and uh karma thresh felt uh i said that's it fresh but karma thresh felt awesome so those two decks both did really really well And now it's time to try Rekindler Garen. If we can find a match. Is there something wrong with my internet? Somebody say, say something in chat. This is weird. Oh, there it goes. Okay. Okay, so it's still working. It says on my thing, it says that I'm live and offline. And so, I don't know, that's obviously a weird combination. All right, Tracker, Dilution, and Decena. Into Bannerman. Push back to darkness. We got the extra Lucian, so we got a Rally. <laughs> I've always got your back. Don't worry about me. Frenzied Skitter is so good. Missed a chance to run. I'm dropping a lot of frames right now. Yeah, I feel like there's something kind of happening wrong with my internet right now. Sweet. That perfect curve. Bonus concedes. Hopefully that's. Hopefully that's uh. The internet stuff's gonna be better now. The the previous video was uploading and now it just finished uploading. So. Yeah. 
so it finished uploading. So hopefully that fixes itself. I mean, I think I just keep a one, two, three, four curve hand, even if it's not absolutely perfect. Okay, well, now it's gotten kind of perfect again. We don't get the tracker, but we have Lucian send a banner bannerman. Push back the darkness. You didn't drop frames? I don't know. Hopefully it's all better now. It looks like it's like my bit rate is looking better. You call me commander. Ugh. Skitter is still really good. Go ahead. Scare me. I don't know why I did Senna and not Lucian. I, yeah, I don't know why I did Senna and not Lucian. I just, I didn't really expect either of them to die, to be honest. Should have done Lucian. I guess Lucian being dead means that Lucian can come back with Rekindler. So how's that going for it? Not sure if I like was supposed to save that thing with the radiant strike. If, if that matters. We should be able to win this from here. Come from the dark. Strike hard, strike true. I can, of course, instant speed or like fast speed. I can single combat, fight, and flip the Lucian. So the Lucian itself can be lethal. I saw that happen though.
dead by like negative no something like that. It's basically at that that last turn is just how did we want to win it? You know, either doing the relentless or doing the the fight spell. But we've curved out perfectly two games in a row. And Nivea Hecarim. Is Protege better than Senna? Maybe I don't need it either. Let's try to get ones and twos. Ugh. Well, it doesn't look like we're going to curve out perfectly right, three games in a row. Story. But you never know. Maybe we have it all on top. You know, we draw Lucian into Senna into Bannerman. Starting, to, starting that curve. Let's go. Now three drop. Eh, pretty close, pretty close. <clears throat> so that's why I put the barrier on the 2-2 because then I was going to have the war chefs pump up this thing look at that we're so good at curving out today is a lot more of our day than yesterday we're up to 96 back in that top 100 we started today at like a, a thousand something, and we started the day at a thousand something, and then we went two and five. So we are like even farther back. One drop. I uh. know, <laughs> right? Yeah. We've been playing this deck for thir like I started the YouTube recording 13 minutes ago. Now, now that that just hit 13 minutes, and then you know like talking about the deck and then three games. Smell that? A fight to cook it. No, no, multiple level Garens do not give you multiple battle phases. They don't stack because it's. Garen's like at the beginning of turn you rally, so that means if you have if you don't have the attack token, then you gain the attack token. Break their spirit and their sword. So if you have if it's your if it's your turn with the attack token, you're just gonna have it anyway. But then, if um, if it's not, then you gain then you gain it from Garen. Well, if you play a second Garen, Garen, you don't gain it twice. You can only have one attack token at a time. One banner, one destiny. Soul 
water to me. Ha, ah, I missed. One banner, one destiny. That's why I don't put rekindlers in my deck normally, because missing is awful. I didn't miss. I got lucky, but that's why I don't like the splash. Missing is backbreaking. Run them through. <laughs> yeah, I'm the more skillful gamer. <laughs> No, for Demacia! No, for Demacia! Head to the base! We do what is right! Harry, report! You are so. Aha! Oh, fair! The first of many foes. I stand ready. Fear is the first of many foes. You cannot stall judgment. This will not take long. Salute. I demand satisfaction. Aha! Fall to our standard. Do not waver. Hopefully, this works. At least I traded two for three. Flavor, it's spice. Return to us. So yeah, they had that rekindler because they missed on that other card. We burn, then kindle anew. Well, I have rekindler also. I stand ready. Bleh. 
Can we get these last three points across? We're starting to be at the point where I have to worry about... I have to be worried about judgment. I don't really see a way for me to play around Judgment, though. Don't back down. Does this count as striking? It strikes a barrier. Does that count? Hey, Team Mello. I guess I might as well try. I mean, it's only four life. Sweet. Oh yeah, I definitely looked at the patch notes. Yeah, a lot of a lot of updates. Um, I think good updates, honestly, for the most part. Demacia is all, is already like kind of turning into the most played region, and so I could definitely definitely see a lot of Demacia and Barrier and stuff like that after the patch. But yeah, I think the the Hecarim Rekindler. Uh, those, I do like those nerfs with Hecarim and Rekindler. Do I want to keep one Garen? Yeah, we'll keep a Garen. GG, uh, eSport, GG's. That was a definitely a really good back and forth game. I got lucky with the missed bannerman trigger for the rekindler and then i happened to draw rekindler myself like right after the garen died it was really clutch hello love in the field you call me commander Won't get past me. That's a lot of aggressive elements over there. The people are my strength. Braggart. All right, yeah, see you around. Yep, GG's. Okay, ready. Uh, let's see. Do I let Senna die? I guess I should have just done this the other way. I 
Man, and they had Mark of the Isles. So trading Radiant Strike for Mark of the Isles is a really good trade. But I guess I traded it for that and the... And the other thing. Uh, let's see. We're going to play this. I know what looks no. Like yeah, it's just, this is just a good trade for me. If I don't make that trade, they just kill my Lucian with, like, these spiders and stuff like that. And, like, I can't deal with that 7-7 Trampler. Like, they honestly probably should not have traded there, but... GG's. They had everything. I can't complain. I've, I've been curving out super well today. So... Yeah, the I I do like I do like new Callista for sure. New Callista looks really good. All right, four and one. Good looking hand. What are, you, what are you upset about with Rekindler? Do you think... Like, are, are you... Did you think it needed to be nerfed more? Or did you think that the nerf wasn't necessary and you're upset that it got nerfed? Yeah, Rekindler is ridiculously good. Lady Elise, where are you? A pretty present you may smooth as silk. You're covered. So you're upset because you, you like the card, but I think it deserved a nerf, especially thanks to the 67 mana champions right now are more valuable with for Temple. Yeah. yeah, so yeah, it, it yeah, it deserved the nerf. It, it definitely deserved it. Six mana to get back your best champion and then also get a 4-4. Four -four. It's just it's just really, really strong. And so yeah, it absolutely deserved a nerf. 
Didn't play anything there. They're just gonna play Ruination? That'd be really sad. I haven't had a champion die this game for Rekindler. Right on time, there's a champion. I think we're going to be able to level up Garen. Have it fight some stuff. Leveled up. I just need to be worried about, I just need to be kind of careful of Mark of the Isles. We have a rekindler on top. I demand satisfaction. Oh, I meant to. Whoops, I meant to challenge or something. Yeah, that's fine. You have Rekindler, they can bring it back. Even if it dies. I just realized what the very obvious play was. <laughs> just kill their thing they're sacrificing so they don't get to draw two. Yeah, like Rekindler getting back like Anivia with the seven mana thing, like you actually spend less mana on Anivia and you get a four four. They're out there. I'll spot them. Harry, repost, you are to pause now. Man. Ready the torches. I don't really know how they're killing this Garen. But whenever they do, I have some rekindlers. That will be great. Or maybe they don't. Maybe they don't kill Garen. My gun does the talking. I almost wish they had Mark the Isles for it. There we go. Demacia will prevail. We each died, then found hope. Got me down to one. But they already used their atrocity. Kill the Garen. If they would have just saved the, the atrocity, 
Could have had me. Yeah, my opponent regrets everything. Poor opponent. All right, and we're five and one. We're up to eighty-two. Man, talk about. We had just we had rank up Sunday one day, one day too late. Yeah, one day later. Because we we started at like a thou like we started one thousand and twenty-three. Then remember it was one two three with the zero in the middle. And that was before we went two and five. So from there we went two and five. I don't know how far we dropped down. You know. I don't, you know, 1,100, 1,200, 1,300. I don't know. I don't know how far we dropped down after going two and five. Yeah, I like I like Fiora version also. The the what I saw earlier, what I was playing against earlier that looked really good was I played against somebody <clears throat> who was playing like this this deck but ex instead of playing rekindler was splashing p and z and playing the six mana discard your hand draw three and that looked awesome because that was just that was just like you know six mana draw three because it's it's your last card that you're playing because everything else is cheap and it looked great smell that a bite to cook it Now, now, now. Feel the sizzle. That was with the Karma Thresh deck. We barely won, but they had like, you know, draw nine. Cause they played like three of them. It was it was a crazy, crazy game. Get in my way. So I'm not casting the tracker also because I'm kind of expecting Avalanche. I wanted at least to have... I wanted to have the Radiant Strike up to protect against like Avalanche. But now, you know, I'll still have the Radiant Strike available. Yeah, I can see that arc a lot, but but also remember we have one set with Legends of Runeterra. Like there, there's just one set. Like imagine trying to make a whole bunch of MTG decks from one set. For king and country. So I don't want to. I don't want to say that that they lack personality compared to Magic, basically because I just don't think it's a, a fair comparison when you have, you know, like I don't. I don't even know like how many cards are in Legends of Runeterra compared to you know even in Standard, you know you're always you're always looking at like you know, uh, like a thousand. Uh, plus, like you're, it's always over a thousand in standard. You know, five two hundred fifty card sets, so like twelve hundred fifty cards at minimum. Push back. 
back to darkness. <laughs> Up to sixty seven. We get another nine one. That was our first ever nine one in Masters with Karma Thresh Control. All right, so Spooky Karma. Not using Thresh. <laughs> uh, this hand looks pretty good. Maybe don't need this Bright Seal Protector. I obviously want Tracker Warshafts. Like, that's the best turn one, turn two. Don't really need this, because then, I guess, turn three. We're not attacking on turn three. It's not like we're bar barriering from blockers. There we go. So both Warshafts and Illusion attack for three, but, because, you know, Warshaf pumps this, but if they do have Vile Feast, like they had there, only the Illusion's attacking for three, the Warshafts is only attacking for two. I don't want to see another skitterer. Lucian's seen two creatures die. No suffering. We may end it. Where there is life, there doesn't all that armor slow you down. Slow and we don't have to be as worried about our champions dying because of the rekindler, so we don't have to be as worried about um Hand to the face. No one goes hungry. By force of will, find enlightenment. Is the third creature dying? Thank you. 
like ruination, you know, like we can we can rebuild. No, I couldn't make Lucian level. I knew that now I am. Cool head, steady hand, unwavering heart. I can now. I couldn't before damage happened. Can now though. I don't want them getting the free spells with Karma, but I also kind of wanted to level up Garen. I'll bring them peace. Take care. Yeah, have yep, have an awesome night. One candle for Dang. every soul. That's pretty good. Shouldn't have killed Karma. Should have had just Garen fight the Awakener. The wick must fall. Fair. Join the conflagration. Peace has its cost. Can't really save that Lucian. Return to us. Push back the darkness. Oh, I should have just cast the rally, shouldn't I? I would just cast rally, then I could rekindle her, and then I have that block. Yeah, I should have just cast the rally instead of play the solution. I should have just cast it as rally. Yeah, that was that was the line. Cast it as rally, and just bring it back, and then have the challenger take the ephemeral creature away. I know, I know, Ruination's rough. My time.
We do I have to have dark water scourge. By force of will. Stole judgment. Oh, this is a difficult game. I, I should have rallied the last turn, but trying to win from here, this is diff we're in a difficult spot. We've been playing a lot of easy games with this deck so far. Uh, that is in Ionia, the swap barrier. Awesome months from Waticus. Thank you so much there, Waticus. You are awesome. Thank you so much, Waticus. I really appreciate it. Keeping that sub going. Thank you. <clears throat> Get another attack. They're down to just one mana. Not dead. Not dead yet. Stay resolute. And now with having a flipped karma, My they could have some crazy life gain cards. This game is not over. Rings and rings. I thought it was, but then the that elusive letting them gain that extra five life. Like if they don't have that, I'd be able to radiant strike. That that extra five life was big. I, this is a bad attack anyway. Lucian needs to be attacking last. This is a bad attack. Like, like we should have like these things trade before Lucian. Um, it kind of made sense like when they had the lifelink creature, but I, I didn't readjust. 
Because when they had the lifelink creature, if they wanted to trade, they had to they had to take all this damage first. Radiant Strike has just been awful. Can't do anything. We each died, then found hope. Yeah, it was that, that turn that I really should have cast the Rally. Hey, finally did something. Finally did something. Do we got him? We got him. GG's. The Radiant Strike being great. Capsule. That looks like a pretty epic capsule. Epic capsule. Okay, we got a rare wild card upgrade. Another rare Aren Shadow Blade. I always forget about that card. That was a hard fought win right there. GG's, that was a hard fought win. You've never seen that card played once? I haven't either, but Yud, who who just left a little little while ago, but um, Yud said that that they've played it uh, and, and actually had a lot of success with it. Um, just playing it in you know, in the the lower ranks, but um, that like it, you know, just keeps keeps people from being able to play any anything. Yuck, that's not a good card for this matchup right now. <clears throat> you made a, a dumb deck with no champions and you're playing it? How's it going for you? Uh, any good ideas for Tiana? I mean, yeah, I do like Tiana in like these kind of decks. I think Tiana's pretty strong. I, w I don't mind like a one of Tiana at all. The other Demacia decks that I play, I usually I usually don't play like the decks that I build. I don't really play the Rally card too much. This Relentless Pursuit. 
Makes sense to play this, especially when considering the Bannermen in a few turns. Break their spirit and their sword. Strength in grace, beauty in the blade. Protect and strike. Aha. Keep them from getting this nice, easy block. And I'm going to be blocking with Protégé because Protégé um, Honor guide me. Run them through. Interesting. Batter him. Feel the sizzle. Aha. Oh, they can't figure out what to do. <clears throat> okay, there we go. Oh. Yeah, that could be a really good idea. Because Tiana is a summoned, so playing Tiana in a hair in a um, harrowing or war mother, war mother's call. I like that war mother's call. Who does not know the name Laurent? Who doesn't know the name Laurent? Don't get in my way. Soldier. No. Show them our medal. That was going to be a lot better before that bannerman. about me a symbol worth fighting for Hand to the face fall to our standard we got another bannerman this is tough my steel is yours can't fight on an empty stomach Yeah, this is basically a mirror match, yeah. The thing about blocking with Lucian, letting Senna transform. Go ahead. Scare me. Then we can bring back Lucian. I guess I should have just blocked the 4 3, shouldn't I? Yeah, I should have just blocked the 4 3. Yeah, I didn't. Makes sense to do that. We burn, then kindle anew. Go ahead, scare me. Pause. Come 
to the light. Bring in the heat. It's a close one, for sure. I mean, I don't have, like, the best attack here, honestly. Like, I probably just have to attack with... Like, because they, they have the 4-5 to block the Lucian. It's like, this rally really isn't very good. If I don't attack with Lucian, the 4-5 blocks the 4-4. Four, four. Won't he proc as well? Won't he proc as well? Bring in the heat. Lucian? No, no, no. We've already had an ally die. Lucian's not going to... We're not going to have another rally. Can you stomach this? Do not waver. One drop, two drop, not very powerful. They just pass? One candle for every soul. My shield is yours. Oh. Yeah, probably have it with them saying the the GGs. In the name of our land, join the conflagration. We'll see though. Such naivete. Maybe not. Nope. Another one drop. For justice. For so they, they had Detain in hand. Because obviously they, they just top decked the Garen because they would have played the Garen if they had it. So they're doing the GG stuff whenever they had a Detain in hand. To the light. Man, we've drawn one drop, two drop, one drop, one drop for our last four draws. They played five, five, six. It's a little better. Oh, 
Uh, thanks, QQ. Thanks for the cheers. Thank you. This is intense. So basically what this does, if if this happens, you know, depending on what they have, if this happens, we get our 3-2, we get a 3-2 back. Right? They capture a 3-2? Yeah, they captured a 3-2, right? And then, you know, this kills my 5-4 where we, we draw an elite that hopefully we can play. It costs cost five or less. And then they can't really attack back with the Garen because the Garen would be a 6-1, so they wouldn't want to attack in with the Garen. But it looks like they drew a spell. So I don't know if this will happen like this. Yeah, we're playing a Rekindler Garen Mirror. They're, they're on Barriers and Fiora, and I'm on Lucian Senna. That just saves them the two life. Oh, it was it was the bannerman that was back there. Oh, that was not the best play by them. GG's. Boom. All right. Got there. Man, what a crazy match. Eight and one. We're going for our second ever Masters. 9-1 in Masters. We're ranked up to 25. That's the highest rank I've ever been. Yeah, this is this is the highest we've ever been ranked. 25th. We got one more match tonight. <clears throat> Man, we like I said, like if you if you're just kind of joining now. QQ with the biddies. If you're just kind of joining, um, well, that was weird. Probably because we're playing a celeb. Timo Zed. Keep this. Um, we started today at 1,023, and then we went two and five, and so dropped. I'm sure you know. I don't know. I don't know exactly how far we dropped after two and five, but it had to have been quite a ways. Well, that's a good one drop, two drop to have.
but I have a really good hand too. Smell that? A fight to cook it. No one goes hungry. Finder whiffed. Sentinels of light don't fear the dark. Full speed ahead. All right, I'm checking. We actually only dropped to eleven sixty. I went ahead and checked that. So after the, you know, 10:23, we dropped to 11:60 after going two and five. So it didn't drop that hard, that far, because we were already at such a low number. Who does not know the name Laurent? Hey, Lucas. I am. I am. I. I'm. I mean, I'm excited about the patch. I. I don't know exactly what to play right away. Um. But yeah, I'm I'm uh I am excited about the patch that's gonna happen tomorrow. But I don't have like a specific deck right now. Is is okay, oh yeah, Callista. Oh yeah, that's true. I bet there's gonna be a lot of Callista everywhere. Callista does sound pretty sweet to play though. What do, yeah, do y'all have, have any ideas of what, what I should... Yeah, anybody have any ideas of anything I should put together for tomorrow? Callista definitely makes sense. Um, we could try... We haven't had a champion die yet. <clears throat> we could try, you know, like... Um, the Iceborne Legacy, you know, new Iceborne Legacy, see how it plays with Brood Awakening that now only costs five mana. I'll write my own story. Lux Mage Seekers and Karma. What does the new Lux Mage Seeker do? Oh, just just all the, the mage seekers, right? Right. Okay. Because yeah, they they definitely changed those cards completely. So now they're yeah the two three four. Okay. Lux mage seekers with karma. I could see that. Got your back. No. Okay, do I want to kill the duo or the life blade? Probably the life blade, right? Run them through. Oh. With the barrier. Um, My steel is yours. And make it so up, the shadow assassin can't trade with anything. Okay, Crimson with Okay, Crimson with pack mentality. Looking for a daring escape. I can see that. 
<sighs> Darn. We got so close. So close. All right, well, we finished eight and two. The elusives got us that last one. GG elusives. The Teemo, ugh, they had a great, great hand. And they got us. I can't complain. I also had a very good hand and I've been having great hands all the way through there. So yeah, Rekindler did look good. Um, Radiant Strike was was pretty hit or miss. Um, but, you know, just these cards are just so, so good. Um, but, yeah, Rekindler did look good, and it didn't really feel like I missed um, Radiant Guardian. And maybe Radiant Guardian is, like, one of my weaker cards in my deck. I'm kind of interested to try out this deck, though, with... Uh, with this Augmented Experimenter. We played against that one time. That looked really cool. You know, like this kind of deck, like where you empty your hand and then your top end is Augmented Experimenter. You could maybe play, you know, like six P and Z cards because then, then instead of like a crappy card like Radiant Strike, you could have a really good card like Mystic Shot. Also. I think we'll have to try that. We'll have to try... We'll have to try P and Z uh, Demacia stuff. That could be pretty cool. Um, so yeah, rank up Monday. Awesome. Um, oh, uh, you just got 11, rank 11 Harem King. Hey, that's not, that's not bad though for your chest, you know, 11 chests. You got, you got the free, um, expedition and that's definitely what's important. Um, cool. All right. Uh, well that's, that's it. That's what I got here for tonight. So tomorrow, yeah, we're going to have the patch update. We'll have to start looking at some new, new decks. Yeah. We'll have to take a look at like those mage seekers um and pack mentality crimson for a, a vlad deck finisher that does sound very enticing so um yeah we'll have to try those out tomorrow and you know kind of see what the new metagame looks like see like what what to do with Callista now and all that kind of stuff all right but that's it here for rekindler garen so those y'all watching on youtube thank you so much first of all second of all Please hit that like button or uh, leave a comment down below. Those likes and comments really do go a long way of sharing the videos. So uh, please take a little bit of time to do those. And uh, yeah, let me know what you think of this version of Demacia. If What do you think of like maybe going with... Um, I'm going to have to learn this name eventually. Augmented Experimenter instead of Rekindler, as I was just talking about. And all that other kind of stuff. Just, you know, also the... Um, the patch notes, you know, feel free to, to let me know what you think of the patch notes, what cards, uh, do you like more, like less, all that kind of stuff. All right. But thank you so much for watching some Rekindler Garen and I'll see you for the next video.